I have one and I love it. I have the white. All right, time to unbox GMK waves. How did you has? Sounds so good right now since carny soup was mentioned. <laughs> About the Romac. Oh yeah, the uh, Romac, for sure. Yeah. I really want to build it eventually. Uh, I'll do it. But I'll do it on, on stream for sure. How do you declare GMK to customs? I usually do keyboard caps or keyboard uh, kit, something like that. All right, let's try and open this thing. I got my Space 65 yesterday and I think I just fell in love with it. Man, let me tell you something. Um, I have tried carbon plates before and Space 65, I don't know what they did to their um, poly, uh, sorry, not polycarbonate, their uh, carbon fiber plate that it's different from everything that I ever tried in terms of carbon fiber. So before you go, you know, heads first into carbon fiber, be aware that there's something about the Space 65 carbon fiber plate that makes it super special and super good. Like it's one of the best sounding keyboards that I have. I don't know what the hell they did, but it worked so nice. All right, so before even unboxing this, I need to figure out which board to put it on. Do you guys have any suggestions at all? So here is the novelties, the space bars, and the Rama cap that supposedly, allegedly glows in the dark. What is the color of your TMO50? Uh, it's green. Do you want to do the... But the green with camping, I don't think I will ever change in any of my boards. <laughs> I can put it on them. So the TMO650 is green, but I don't feel like I'm taking out the camping. Yeah. Do you guys think that a blackboard maybe? I was thinking about a blackboard. I don't know. We could do the Greed 600, for instance. Or we could do the number one, but number one, I don't want to touch it because it has the real agenda balls and it's so good as is. What else? Mm. We could do the Elephant S7 as well. We could also do the... Um, Dolch 65 Elephant Elephant is gray let, let me get it and then you guys can tell me if you think is a good idea hold on Do you guys think that it would look good here? Perfect, okay. If you say the word, demon. Yeah, the, the, the sound of this board is insane. Let's do a quick typing test before we replace the caps. Hold on. So good, I love it as well. I think it's one of the best sounding boards that I have. All right, let me, we're gonna do the Rama cap in one second. Let me put the stabilizers on the floor. 
for the sake of space. We're definitely going to use the, the novelties as well. Move this closer to my mouth. All right, let's open this. Are all the lips on the elephant solid or milled out? What? Oh, there is a scratch on my elephant. Fucking A. Just noticed this. Let me see if I can show you the scratch. Oh, I don't know how that happened. Maybe it was my maid there. It wasn't there before. Oh, my poor elephant. It really wasn't there. Last time I checked this board. Really sad. Yeah, I think it's superficial too. You can barely see from this camera. Hopefully. Hopefully. All right, let's do the switch review. <laughs> so those are um, creamy switch, not cream, creamy switches. <laughs> not red inks no 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 this is something i used creamies uh, i think those are like 62 grams in creamies zeal um zeal stabs i think and they are what i have on them are not fumes but stickers that came with the group i for creamies Play some piano on that package. I wish I could play any instrument, but I'm just so bad at music stuff. I have one gift that is if I listen to a song, especially in English, uh, twice, I know the whole lyrics almost entirely by heart, but I can't play a single instrument. And also my voice sucks. Uh, what are creamies made out of? I think they are regular plastic, the same thing, not nothing special like palm or UH, whatever. I can play harmonica. Man, I love the harmonica and I am really jealous that someone can play it. I can play keyboard. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I like that, Derbs. Oh, it wasn't Derbs. Sorry, Cibernez. The clarinet, trumpet, and also saxophone. Oh my god. Carne soup, you, you're like a, a Illuminati or something. It takes a lot of brain power to remember all the fingers for them though. Oh man. I bet it does. All the brain that, you know, uh, all the surface from my bane, brain was used for programming. Do you know when you have civilization and you have like tiles that you can do like build something? All the tiles in my brain were used towards computer stuff, mostly programming. I can play that. I can play that. I can play piano. Uh, do you mean you can say that you can play piano? All right, out with the oat. Let's get the new in. This thing doesn't want to open. Really stubborn, come on. Alright, let's take a look at the sleeve, because I think it's a very pretty one. 
I've played in the Rose Parade before for the LA All City Marching Band. I kind of forgot I played instruments. <laughs> Two fifty for the set is not worth it, Chief. Is that what I paid? All right, but the sleeves do look nice. And then you have the GMK waves up here. And of course, I forgot the enjoy and beep. Beep is a very known um, designer in the community. He did a lot of key sets, including GMK dots, GMK milkshake, DSA milkshake, and amongst a ton of others. Oh, you mean the Boba Fett? Yeah, I, I did get the Boba Fett mostly because I think it's kind of a, a landmark on GMK sets where you have something that is licensed. I think that set may change um, how we do sets usually forever. I think that maybe if we start licensing stuff, it's going to be more expensive, but at least we're doing the right thing, right? A lot of people do... Um, Key sets that are inspired on things that are licensed and they don't care. But I think that's a very, very interesting landmark on how we do sets. Wave Sizer 2000. On the bottom, we have GMK Waves, Unikey, and GMK. And on the bottom, we have this very. Um, this, uh, this thing that is like kind of the icon for GMK Waves which I like very much. So the sleeve is very cool indeed, and you have the same thing here. And here is the set. And one thing that I wanted to do was to compare it with um, GMK Terminal, which I think we can do when I'm finished. Yeah, it's very different, I can tell. All right, I'm gonna hold on with the escape for a bit. I don't know if I'm gonna put escape here or here, the the cap, so. It is 250, shit. Uh, I gotta let it go then. It's green, interesting. It is, but it's a different shade of green. This reminds me a set, a PBT set called the train set. I think the, um, the background color is almost the same as the green train set PBT. Looks pretty nice. Yes, it does look very nice in person as well. I must say, I like the, I can show you here on the camera how it looks. Let me just the focus, hold on. Is it blue or green? It is definitely green. To be honest, I think this set looks better on stream and photos than on render. I do. I do agree with that. Depth control, yeah, so this is, this is the, I think it's the little things, right? The fact that it has a stepped control, it just makes me happy. So much happy. I remember I skipped it because I didn't like that much, but it looks pretty sleek and sharp. Yes, I am, I am really happy with how the, it turned out. All right. Energy Arthur, thank you so much for joining us and staying up late to <laughs> be here. Thank you so much. You have a good night. Take care, man. Same here. Thanks for the stream, Mr. Keeps. Have a good one. You too, Demon. Thank you so much, man, for the help earlier with that form. Thank you. Really, thank you so much. You, you two have a good night.
And I don't know if you guys know, I used to be a dip dish uh, fan, but now I prefer bars 10 times. I think they not only feel better, but they sound better as well. Because the shape of the key doesn't change like it changed on the dip dish. So I'm always using bars now. Sometimes it's extremely bad with dip dish. Yes, that's what I found out. After a while, I found out that sometimes it just changes the sound of the switches so radically that I strongly prefer the, um, the barred keys. Seventy-five U shift. I'm thinking about doing this and this, and then using the Roma cap here. Let's see how that plays out. I really need to stop joining GMK GBs. I have a oh man, <laughs> you're talking to the wrong person. <laughs> you're on the wrong stream. I am the guy that always joins them as well, Derbs. I finally did the math for the last year. Oh man, no, 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 no. I don't do that. I don't have the guts to do that. There is a little scratch on my space bar. How sad is that? Let me show you. Do you see right here? There is this little, it's kind of hard to capture on camera, but there is definitely a visible scratch right there. That really sucks. At least we're not using that here. That's the seven U space bar. I wish this set had out GR. I love out GR. Yeah, I know. I don't know why. <laughs> okay, this is definitely not a 125 U. There we go. Yeah, because we have a blocker. That makes sense. Uh, I was thinking about going with this, but I don't think it's a good idea. Because we're going to have the Tetris effect here. I know I do have some bad luck. That really sucks. Over twice what I estimated. Don't tell me about it. Please don't tell me about it. I like to live in my ignorance. What did I miss? This and this. this. <laughs> hey, River Dex 5, thank you so much for the follow, man. Appreciate it. All right, so I need to end like this. Then I need the page down, I think, like this. Is that right? I think it is. And then this is the page up that I need. Perfect. All right. So we have figured out this part. I am still thinking of jo joining GMK Fuyu. Are you guys? By the way, I bought some desk mats today and the Fuyu one and the one for GMK Yugo are so nice. Okay, River Dex, ignore that because that's really old and I didn't update for this. I am unboxing. Uh, I did unbox some Artisans earlier and now I'm unboxing 
uh, GMK waves. So there's the that build command is really off, and I apologize for that. Okay, so I know that I'm doing probably this. Nah, they are the same thing, almost. So I need to figure out... Should I... Do it like this? And maybe do this guy. Which is a different row. And then... Tribosis is just a rebrand of Crytox. I need to take a page from your book, Keeps Become Blissfully Ignorant. Yes. So here we have the cap. Let me show you that. How the case looks green. So that's... And you know what? I want to see if this really shine. you know, glows in the dark. Let's see. Let's put it in some light like that. Maybe I, what I need to do is put my phone a little bit on it. Let me take it out. You didn't know that? Yeah, Tribosis is Crytox. Let me shine some light here. And then, excuse my Portuguese, but Alexa, desliga a luz da mesa. Alexa, desliga as luzes do escritório. Oh, yeah. Look at that. How cool is this? It really does glow in the dark and really cool. Look at that. So if I put that here. Wow. So this is really nice. There it is. Just legal. Oh, look who's here. TTY Lundgren is here. Hold on. Alexa, liga as luzes da mesa. Alexa, liga as luzes do escritório. So, guys, if you don't know TTY, he's the guy behind CYO keycaps. And he does a lot of amazing stuff. And CYO, I was just uh, before the stream. I was preparing the form to for the giveaway for the boards you donated to the Brazilian community. So thank you so much for sh for being here and thank you so much for the contribution that you did. That's really appreciated. You guys should also follow him on Instagram. Hold on. There's my Chrome. Here it is. So if I do TTY, here we go. So he posts all his stuff to Instagram here. So make sure you follow him. Yeah, man. And the other, uh, for sure, I, I think they are going to my proxy. Or is it going, did you send it straight to Brazil? I don't remember. So you should definitely follow him if you don't already. All right. So I... It's your proxy. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. As soon as I get it, I'll let you know. So I have a quick question. Should I swap those two keys and have the green one here and the escape be this key? Let's see how it looks like. Maybe even like this. Hold on. Should I do this? Or should I keep the escape here and just move the other one here? What's the preference? This is good? Okay. And I must say, I really... 
yeah, it looks green. Gondo is right. Let me give you a better view here. Hold on. Do you like it better than Terminal? Yeah, I am not a fan of Terminal. Let me just see if I can reposition this without making you guys have a seizure. Reposition this camera over here. There, so I think this is a good... So it is prettier than, way prettier than Terminal. First, because you have two shades, one for the mods and one for the for the alphas, which I think is a plus. And I really love the... Let me put it... Ugh. This board is so hard to move. But yeah, I like it way better than Terminal. I am not a fan of Terminal. I'm just thinking if I should play around with the other... There's no room for those. Uh, should I do something like this? Let's see. Let's play with the novelties a little bit. Is this too much? It may be too much. Yeah, because you have this here and here. No, I don't like it. No, no, no. Maybe this guy would look nice. Yeah, that I like. But I, I'm not sure about this. But I feel like I should do like a typing test. Not that it's going to change anything because we just changed ABS to ABS, but I'll do it. Hey, Temp321, uh, we are not building anything today. Uh, I just unboxed uh, GMK Waves, and before that, I unboxed some Artisans. That's all we did tonight. All right, any, any questions, any closing thoughts, guys, before I wrap this up? By the way, if you guys want to see, this is what I unboxed in terms of Artisans. Some goth caps, uh, key luminati, um, hunger work studios, liberty caps, um, wild story. Oh, and I just realized I never turned the music back on. Sism caps. I don't know who makes this, uh, but it's a nice gaming plus escape and function set. And China keycap clones. That's what we unboxed today. All right, guys, let me know if you have any closing thoughts. Otherwise, I will start to wrap it up. All right, so just FYI, I think that tomorrow uh, around 5 p.m. Eastern, I'm going to build a Reborn 60. And we're going to build it with some um, 62 grams tangerines, not the, this batch. But the previous one? Uh, vitriol, I decided to skip the C3 stabs for today, but we can use it for tomorrow's build. So if you tune in tomorrow, just to make it a little shorter, I need to have dinner, uh, which I didn't yet. Um, so that's why I'm, I'm cutting it a little short. And I apologize that I don't have time to go through the C3 stabs, but I will definitely go through them tomorrow, if that's okay. 
All right, guys, uh, you all have a good night. Again, thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you guys later. All right, Vitrio, thank you so much, guys. Thank you, Experms. Luke, hey, Luke, yes. We just finished putting waves on it. Sup, sup. Yeah, I'm just, just wrapping up. <laughs> I know it's late for you as well. All right, guys, you all... Take care. Bye now.